Hello everyone, I'm Cedric, Customer Success Manager here at Avoni. So in this tutorial, I will build a component using the Avoni Flow Screens component library to showcase a map that display a list of accounts. And this component will also be fully reactive, meaning that when I'm selecting an account on a map, it will automatically display related information on that account under the same component. So that's extremely useful and powerful. Let me show you the final result. So this is the final result of what I'm going to build in this video. As you can see, it's a custom component, but on the back end, it's a flow. And here I'm only using Avoni components from the Avoni Flow Screens component library. And this component is fully working. I mean, if I'm selecting an account, I'm automatically get related information on this side. The same if I'm changing the account name, as you can see, it's fully reactive. No refresh needed. And the account, the account information is displaying on the map as well as on this right panel. So let's dive into building this into Flow Builder. So the first thing we need to do, we need to create a new flow and select screen flow. So the first thing we need to do here is to fetch data information from the account on Salesforce. And to fetch data information, we need first to add a get records element. So get records, it's pretty easy to set up get account. So just select the object you'd like to fetch data from. And here, if needed, you can set condition. So uh, if you only want maybe to display a specific account, you can set condition to only display specific account. For this example, I want to display all account. So all records, done. Perfect. I just set up the get records information. Next, the screen element. So let's add a label. Because I want this component to act like a custom component, I don't need the header, I don't need the footer. And now, the first thing we need to do, it's really to add two sections. Because if we remember our example, we have the map, and on the right side, we have specific related information. So for that, we need to drag a section element. So the section will help you to create different section inside your screen. So add a column, set width, and now you have two columns. So that's easy to drag any of the components inside. When you install the Avoni Flow Screens component manage package from the App Exchange, you will find all our components here under custom. So it's natively integrated into Flow Builder. So first thing I need to do is drag the Avoni map component. For each of our components, we built what we call a component builder, meaning that you get access from here, open component builder, to all the component settings. You also get access to a preview. So to set up the map component, I need to ensure that the mode is the correct mode. So here, I want to display multiple markers on the map, so we select multiple markers. If needed, you can adjust the zoom level. So let's say you have all the accounts uh, that are located in under the same country. You may want to zoom to that specific country by adjusting the zoom level. Then expand the header section, uh, account section, the title, icon name, right there. If needed, you can add action. So that's button action you can add right there and then set interaction using the interaction tab uh, to those buttons. Value settings, filtering, search engine. Let's say you like to make your item searchable. Uh, you can add a search engine right from there. Now, the most important part of this map component is to link the data coming, coming from the get record selection to the map component. So that's the data source. Then you can select variable and link that variable to the get records collection. And finally, you can do the mapping. So as you can see, it's already pre-filled based on the data coming from the get records collection. Title would be the account name, description would be the record description. You can adjust if you want, you can change the field, that's easy. Uh, location, 
make sure that you're selecting the correct feed because that's what we will use to display the correct location of the account. Finally, you have filters. So let's say you'd like to add a filter to filter by country. That's easy to type, let's say country, select the billing country field, and you will have the billing country field available to filter by country. Done, I just set up in two minutes my map component. So now if we going back to our example right there, let's refresh that page. We can see that we have like this uh, illustration display, but that's the reactive part for this component. The illustration will only be displayed if no marker are selected. So let's go back on Flow Builder again. And here I will use the, we have a component for that, of course, the Avon illustration. So illustration, open component builder, set a variant, let's say no connection, for example. Okay, no marker. It's selected. It's That's done. I mean, I don't need to do any more stuff on the uh, uh, configuring the um, illustration component. Now, one important, important thing to do is to configure the reactive part because we want the illustration to be only displayed if no markers are selected. So for that, we need to go on the set component visibility and set a component visibility. A uh, quick note here, that's really, really, really important. Make sure that if you're going to the process automation settings under the setup menu, that the, so yes, make sure that on the process automation settings here under the setup menu, the opt in to reactive screen beta is checked. Otherwise it won't be available. Um, if it was not checked before, you might need to recreate your flow from scratch. So let's get back to Flow Builder again. And here, let's say set the component visibility. So the condition would be, okay, show me the illustration only if on the Avoni map, the selected marker S object value, which field, the account ID. And then we select the operator is null true. That's it. I mean, with that condition, the illustration will only be displayed if no marker are selected. So now we can really focus on bringing our other component below, which would be, which would be the Avoni header. So let's drag the Avoni header right there. Avoni header. Mm -hmm and then open component builder. So here on the header, we want to display the selected account name. So it's a title, but the title, we cannot enter the title manually because it's need to be dynamic based on the selection I've made on the map. So for that, I will select here, map. Take the resource, have any map. The same way, going to the selected marker as object value, account name, done. Again, for the header, we can add an avatar. And we can also play with the style. So let's say on the styling panel, you will get all the styling group settings for this specific component. So if you want to configure the branding, that's easy to do. I will just here add a margin, bottom, small, done. Last piece, configure the reactivity the same way for the header because again, I want the header to be displayed only this time when a marker is selected. So set vi component visibility, condition. We are doing the other way around. So account ID is null, but this time false. Great. Now we want to display specific fields information. And for that, I will use the Avoni formatted value component. 
value so the label will be account type type text value again the value should be dynamic so we'll select map the exact same way here and then select the account type field Going to the style, we can adjust the styling. Let's say we like to add a border. We can add a border of on the bottom side, one pixel. Style solid, set a color, this gray. And we can also add a margin and padding. Perfect. The same way, configure the set component visibility the exact this time the exact same way as the other uh, here map account id is null false OK, and if you want to repeat the same process to add more Avoni formatted value, just need to drag the another Avoni formatted value component. But this time, it will be exactly like this one. So what you can do, and that's really an handy feature, you can click here and copy the configuration of this component. And then you can paste that configuration into the new component. So let's say uh, account industry value. So everything will be already set up. You just need to change the label and the value. Then you still have all the, all the styling is keeping the same. Staying the same. And then industry don't forget to set the component visibility to ensure that it will only be displayed was when a marker is selected so of any map a subject say value is null false so i'm pretty much done i think let's save that and let's Save the flow and activate that flow. OK, the flow is activated. So now this flow is available to be added anywhere on Salesforce where you can add a flow. And let's do it on the record page or even better, on the home page. So to add this component we just created as a flow to any page, any pages like the home page or any record pages, we just need to open the app builder from Salesforce. So here, edit page. And from there, you would just need to drag the flow component. Mm, OK, flow. And select the flow you just created. Save. And we have. Here we have our component. Let's test that. It's working pretty, it's working well. We can even search by country. Great. So that's how you can use the power, or even better, the powerful combo of Flow Builder and the Avoni Flow Screens component library. Uh, so feel free to add any comment, question. If you stuck somewhere, let us know in the comment section just below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.